welcome back to my channel where you can get a little bit of this and a little bit of that okay so today's video we're going to touch back on that topic which is going to be a skincare video i pretty much got through my depression and learned to like love my flaws more by connecting with you all on youtube so that's how my channel started it once was called beauty and blemishes which is why my hashtag is originated by beauty and blemishes because everything was skincare everything was like i have acne i don't know what to do help me help me and i connected with you all so, so if you would like to see what my current daytime regimen is just keep watching this video So this video is going to be my daytime regimen and then on this upcoming Wednesday I'm going to post my nighttime regimen. So make sure you watch both parts to this video. Okay so let's jump right into it. So for starters I always like to wash my hands with antibacterial soap. Please be careful. So certain soaps do not have properties. Well they have properties in them but they don't have all the properties in them that kills like all of the germs on your hands. So make sure that you are using an antibacterial soap. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wash my hands first before I touch anything on this face of mine wash my hands because we don't want to take germs off our hands and put them on our face that defeats the purpose always wash your hands first so so my daytime cleansers are pretty like gentle on my skin I don't want anything that's heavy opposed to the ones that I use at night so make sure you watch Wednesday's video so you know what those cleansers are currently I am still using my acne.org cleanser I love this cleanser because it's really gentle um it has like a thick lather to it it doesn't have any smells or anything to it I believe in double washing I said this before in like an old video so either I'm double washing with my Cetaphil, which is also another gentle cleanser, and something new that I've added to my regimen, which is it's a cocoa butter black soap. I've been using this soap probably for I want to say like three or four months now, and so far I really like it. I've noticed a difference in like my blemishes on my skin, and it adds a lot of moisture. I wish y'all can see it says what the brand is. I just can't read that. I'll show it to y'all. Maybe y'all can see. So a quick little tip for you all. So when I'm cleansing my skin, I try not to use a towel because I feel like towels hold a lot of bacteria either using the palms of my hands the palms of my clean hands or I'm using my spin brush and when I'm drying my skin I don't use a towel either I like to use something disposable something that's clean fresh doesn't have a smell so I will use like a paper towel to just dry my skin off so after I wash my skin, I like to go in with a toner. I kind of have like three toners that I play with. And depending on the, whichever one I grab out the closet today, that's the one that I'm going to use. But all of them are pretty good. I have two by Neutrogena. I use this one over the summer to help control with my oil that was on my skin. I have really, really oily skin, especially during the summertime. It treats acne and it helps with balancing oil in your skin. And then I also have another acne one by Neutrogena that does the same thing. It helps treat acne and help even your skin. I think the only difference is this one is geared more towards like fighting acne and this one is geared towards fighting acne and controlling your oil. So I use these and I kind of just transfer between them. And then I still use my Dickerson Witch Hazel. Before getting into moisturizing my skin, I like to do two more things. So this is a product that I recently bought by Neutrogena. I want to do a full review on this product coming on my channel. But this here is a little gadget by Neutrogena and it is a light therapy spot treatment. So it pretty much looks like this. You just put it on your skin if you have a pimple. It kills all the bacteria that's trying to like create a pimple on your skin because that's pretty much all acne is like bacteria like imbalanced bacteria on your face. Make sure you watch out for that review. Hi guys, sorry for interrupting. I just want to encourage you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay connected for upcoming videos. Now, let's get back to the video. So next I like to treat any acne that's on my skin. Something that has changed in my regimen is I used to put this like all over my face twice a day. 5% benzoyl peroxide from acne.org. Now current day, I only put this on the current breakouts that are on my face during the day. So in Wednesday's video, you will see the difference on how I use this product on my skin. And benzoyl peroxide is used to kill any bacteria on your skin. And 
So after I let the benzoyl peroxide sit for a little while, now it's time to moisturize. I like to go in with my moisturizer. The moisturizer that I use during the day is different from the moisturizer that I use at night. So once again, make sure you check out Wednesday's video. But during the day, I like to use Acne.org moisturizer and I like to mix it in with a little Cetaphil moisturizer because this one has sunscreen in it and this one does not. Something that I changed in my regimen is I used to take the products and I used to like rub them all on my face. I no longer do that. I try to just put them on my face, rub it in on my hands, and then I just pat the moisturizers in my face. I made this change because I felt like I was being a little bit too rough and aggressive on my skin when I was like rubbing the moisturizers in. So by patting them, I feel like it just absorbs more and it allows my skin to do what it wants to do opposed to me like, you gonna get in my skin today, like no. The last thing I want to add is like, I am not 100% happy with my skin right now. However, I have seen drastic changes from like my summer skin like my skin this past summer was like off the chain like i was breaking out non-stop i don't i didn't know what was causing my skin to break out but now i pretty much have my acne like under control this week before recording this video i tried two new products on my skin and it broke me out in these areas right here and right here but despite that like my acne has been under control i'm just trying to like really get these blemishes off my face as my updated daytime regimen i am looking to add a few more products into my skin that i heard works really well for like getting rid of blemishes and adding moisture i will keep you all updated please be sure to tune in wednesday so you can see what my nighttime regimen consists of it is completely different than my daytime regimen until then take care of yourself and if you are struggling with acne remember it's not your skin what matters is what's within i'll see you guys next time bye guys i learned to love myself the most biggest important one you have to love you you have to know who you are. You have to know you're going to make it through it. And regardless of anything physical that happens to you that alters what once was, love the new you and create something new of it and use it to your benefit. So, yeah. I